Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to enable the feature called Hyper-V on a Windows 11 PC. Hyper-V is a native hypervisor for Windows that allows you to virtually run other operating systems within Windows. There's a few steps to get that up and running, so let's take a look. And here we are at the Windows 11 desktop. To enable Hyper-V, the first thing that we wanna do is click on the Start button and then click on Settings. Inside Settings on the left-hand side, we're gonna click on Apps. And over here on the right, we wanna click on optional features. And then in this list, we're gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and select more Windows features. Now you'll see a bunch of Windows features in this list. We're looking for Hyper-V, which is right over here. We're gonna check it to enable it and then click on okay. It's now gonna install the required files, apply changes. So you just have to click on restart now and it'll restart your computer and then you can start using the service. Now, if that didn't work, that's probably because you're on Windows Home Edition. Now, if you're on Windows Home Edition, what you wanna do is close out of this window and we can go to the Start menu. What we're gonna do is click on Start. In here, we're gonna type in CMD for Command Prompt. And at the Command Prompt, we wanna run it as Administrator. So you're gonna right-click on it and say Run as Administrator. Say yes to the prompt. And here's our window. So what we wanna do is paste in this command and I'm gonna put this in the description below. Once you run it, it's gonna download and install all the required packages for Microsoft Hyper-V. This process takes a few minutes as it installs it, and once it's complete, it'll ask you to restart. Okay, you can see the operation was successfully completed now, so if you just hit Y on your keyboard, it's gonna go ahead and restart your computer. So here we are back at the Windows 11 desktop. So if you just restarted the computer after enabling Hyper-V, we're gonna click on the Start button, and then we just have to type in Hyper-V in here in the menu, and you'll see that the option now comes up. You can click on it, and it loads up, and now you can go ahead and install an operating system virtually on your Windows 11 PC. You're up and running. If you have any questions, you can go ahead and put them in the comments below. If you wanna see me install any operating systems virtually on Windows 11, please let me know in the comments as well. Thank you for watching, and I'll catch you on the next one. Thank <laughs> you.